So John's message begins. Return. Re-engage God and one another. Repent. Because in order to embrace this preparedness, yes, we must engage one another. But there are some things that we need to separate from. The old story is told of uh, a group of folks who, who met regularly at, the, at this pub in a town. Uh, and uh, there was a church just across the way and they watched people come and go as they gathered to celebrate and, uh, and enjoy themselves and they couldn't help wondering what happens in there. They encouraged one of their circle to check it out. So showed up on a Sunday morning, sat in the back as visitors often do, and just took it all in. As he gathered with his friends, they were eager to hear, what is it, what is it that they talked about in that place? What happens in there? So, well, they do some singing and they do some sharing. And, and then this guy stands up and he talks for a long time. Well, what did he talk about? And the friend, the visitor said, well, he, he talked about something called sin. Really? Yeah, that sounds like a church thing. What did he say about it? Well, the guy said it was a little hard to tell sometimes, but generally, I think he was against it. The moving away that allows us to engage and be prepared is a moving away from those things that would destroy us, that undermine everything God is trying to do in the world. The Desert Fathers came up with a, a list, a, a group of a kind of general categories for sinfulness, and it, it reads like this. Gluttony, lust, greed, indifference, anger, envy, and pride. One time or another, I've found myself uh, settled under every one of those categories. But the call to be prepared for all that God wants to do is a call to move in a different direction. That was John's message. Engage God, engage one another, separate from those things that would destroy you. This has been more from West Highlands United Methodist Church with a thought for your day, just another way of reaching out. Thank you.